Well, Steve White, Steve White say nine. Well, Joe Biden just announced that he is withdrawing from the presidential race. I'm a bit shocked. Um, I don't quite know what to make of it. I didn't think he was going to back down. I thought he was going to stay in the race. I thought he was the only person who probably could beat Trump again, um, even though there were people screaming for something new. Um, I really wasn't sure what was going to happen there. I didn't think the debate was as bad as it was when I first saw it, because I was in my kitchen doing stuff and just listening to it. But then when I watched it, I sort of thought, ugh, I wasn't sure. And everyone seemed to be turning on him. And I thought, is he going to stay? And then he got COVID. And I'm like, oh, this is not looking good. What's going to happen? They have to do something. They can't let Trump win. Um, he's going to dismantle democracy. He has said in the past, although he denies it now, that um, he was going to use Project 2025 as a blueprint on how, how to dismantle democracy, basically, and um, turn America into a dictatorship, um, which he don't enjoy for another 10 years or so. Then, um, who, what, what, just, uh, it's just terrifying. Everything that happens there trickles down into um, Australian politics and other the politics of other countries around the world, other Western countries. So it's terrifying to think that he could end up becoming the president again and another four years of him I can't imagine I barely survived the last four just it was just a maddening daily trauma of what's happening now what's you know going to happen next and what's this going to mean for our future and, and future minorities and, and um, anyone any ethnicity other than white and any gender other than straight um, it's just really terrifying so I don't know what's going to happen but um, if people really had lost faith in Joe and needed someone new that they could promote as the new thing without any of the baggage of the um, of the past, then maybe is a good thing. Um, is he going to put Kamala up? Um, Kamala? Is it Kamala or Kamala? I can never remember. Not that it matters, but um, I do get afraid of getting that wrong. Will he promote her? Will she step in? Because she's certainly going to get the black vote and the... No, Hillary didn't get the woman's vote, did she? No, she did. She won. I forgot. She won by the popular vote. I don't know. Is Kamala, is, is Kamala likeable? Um, where has she been? I've barely seen her do anything. Like, she doesn't seem to... There are criticisms that she hasn't had the publicity she sh should have had. So I really don't know um, what's going to happen. But, um, yeah. I, mean, I know he's going to... He's, he's going to... Um, he's definitely going to um, um, support her as nominee. Whether that gets um, um, questioned, whether that gets unchallenged, what's the term I was looking for, who knows. But I'm going to go. Feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think of the whole thing. I just, I'm just, I'm just kind of shocked. But um, there's about 100 days left, I think, for them to bring someone else in and get people excited about someone new without maybe having any baggage or any history or time to them to dig up much dirt on that person. And maybe they can actually do this because people have been arguing, independents have been arguing for ages that they need someone new, anyone other than Biden, anyone other than Trump. And if they get someone other than Biden or Trump, maybe it'll work for them, maybe they'll win. But um, if they keep Cam Camilla in... Is she just going to drag all that in? All the people that think all the things people haven't been happy with in the last four years. Does she bring all that baggage with her? Do they need someone totally new, a totally new product? I, I, I don't know.